Hi, my name's Melissa Hayward. I'm the current UK BFF Bikini Champion and I also just placed second in Europe. I am a corporal in the British Army. I went to Iraq in 2007 with my battalion here. Um, I currently work training recruits in Winchester. And I take um, CBRN, which is chemical um, biological warfare, and I also take them for battlefield casualty drills. So I'm an instructor in those, in those two things. When I was on exercise in Canada in 2012, um, I bought a copy of Muscle and Fitness Hers magazine. Um, on the front cover was a picture of a woman called Amanda Latona and I looked at her legs and her glutes and I thought, wow, you know, she looks amazing. So I started reading about it and it was to do with weight training and dieting and I thought, right, okay, I can work harder in the army, I can do this weight training malarkey and um, yeah, it took off from there. Training with weights, um, I first started kind of 2012, yeah, January 2012. Uh, my general fitness was good because I was in the military anyway. Um, we have tests and obviously we have a certain fitness standard that we have to stick to. Um, so my fitness was good, but it was more based on CV. So I'd never really trained with weights um, before 2012. I needed to work on my legs. Um, work on my glutes. I, I wouldn't say I was big by any, by any form, um, but I wasn't where I would need to be to look like that picture. I was kind of your standard UK size 12 to 14 and I really liked my junk food. I, I love pizza, um, crisps and dips, uh, sweets at the cinema, so obviously I had to change all of that. But the way I looked, I had to lose body fat but also build lean muscle tone as well. The weight training, I would say, is one of the most important parts um, because you can do cardio for ages. You know, you can go on the cross trainer for an hour and you will lose body fat. However, you're just going to end up being a smaller version of what you looked like before. To build shape and tone, you have to use you have to use weights. Um, and also, reading in this magazine, a lot of the women in there didn't even do cardio. So, seeing that actually losing body fat and building shape and tone is done by working with weights. I was quite nervous when I first walked into the gym because being in, in the military and I suppose anywhere as well, the weights room is male dominated. You know, you have blokes there you know, dropping dumbbells and throwing things around and you kind of walk in and you're like, okay, I need to start somewhere. Um, I was really nervous when I first started because you don't get many females in the military using weights because it is just left up, left to the lads. Um, but luckily for me, I had my husband with me at, at the time and he kind of walked me into the weights room and was like, right, let's get on with it. So luckily I did have that support there. Um, I saw results pretty quick with my upper body. Um, I've, I've found out through um, experience now that I build muscle quite quickly on my upper body. So within two to three weeks, I started seeing changes in my shoulders and also my bicep, um, biceps. Um, lower body, I started to see changes maybe after about four to six weeks. I started to see, you know, I started to see a little bit of a line where my quads were and yeah, about four to six weeks. And I think I probably do a lot of people's heads in by saying, oh, look at this bit, I can see this, you know, I've got, look at my quads looking better, or look, my shoulders look a bit rounder. Um, and it makes you want to work harder as well, because you think, well, what I'm doing is actually working. So it, make, it gives you that extra oomph as well. So when you've looked in the mirror and you see something that's different, for some reason, the next day when I go to the gym, or that day when I go to the gym, it gives me a little bit more of a, of a kick and I, you know, to keep working hard. <laughs> to be honest, I, I was really nervous about doing a competition, but I wanted that challenge. I, I always like to have a challenge. And for me, getting on stage and showcasing all of the hard work that, that I had done, all of the dieting that I've had to go through, and all of you know, the emotional ups and downs, 
I thought, right, I want to get on stage. And also looking at on YouTube and, and seeing other people when they're on stage, I thought, I could do that. You know. Yes, I was scared, but also I thought, yeah, I was quite confident that I could, I could do it and, and hopefully do well. I had lots of ups and downs during my prep. Did I look good enough? Um, did, did my bum still look fat? Um, yeah, it was a bit of an emotional roller coaster. I was still quite insecure about the way my body looked um, before I got on stage. There were certain parts of me that looked really good and then other parts that I wasn't quite so fond of. Um, but I just wanted to have a good time on stage and I think that that came across quite well with my first competition. But yeah, I was very, very nervous and very self-conscious, but then I think you have to think of all of the diet and all of the training that you've gone through to get to that particular point and be proud of yourself. You should be really proud of how much effort you've put into everything and then just go out and enjoy the day, completely enjoy the whole experience. I think you just have to go for it. I don't think there's a certain thing that will get you over that hurdle of perhaps feeling self-conscious about being on stage and judged on your physique. You know, standing there being judged on your hair, your makeup, your waist to your shoulders. I, don't, I think you just have to go, right, okay, yes, I'm nervous, but I want to do it, therefore, I'm just going to go and do it. When I'm on stage posing um, and showcasing my work, I am doing that for me. I am doing that to be proud of myself and for my own confidence reasons. Obviously I'm, I'm doing it because I want to make other people proud, but most, mostly it's for me because I want to do well, because I want to prove to myself that I can do it, because the old me that used to eat pizza three times a week never thought in a million years I would get on stage and in a bikini and look the way that I do. So it's not for anybody else, it's not, it's not for um, perhaps maybe getting into a magazine or perhaps getting sponsored by somebody. It's not for any of those other reasons other than I love being on that stage. I love, I love posing, I love all of the girls that you can meet as well and the friendships that you can, that you can have. But it is, it is mostly, yeah, it's for me, it's not for anyone else. I think I probably am a more confident person. Um, and I wouldn't say that that's just Physically, I would say mentally I'm a, I'm a more confident person. Because I'm in the military, I'm quite confident anyway. I have to speak in front of groups of people. Um, but I, I think there's a certain element to getting up on stage in front of that many people um, that just gives you like an inner strength as well. And, and you become tough. You have to go through tough times to get to where you are. And I think you become more mentally tough and more mentally confident the more you go through the process. I still get absolutely amazed when people say to me, oh, Melissa Hayward, you've inspired me to lose weight, or I really want to go on stage because of you, or I've seen, or someone will post a picture of me and say, in my inspiration, and I, I think it's, it's crazy because I'm just, I'm just me, basically, you know, and it really, it, it's lovely. To see, you know, to see that I can inspire people is really lovely and I say that genuinely as well because um, I never thought I would be where I am to inspire people to get fitter or to go on stage. I'm honoured to, to be able to do that for them. Yeah, the army has been really supportive. Um, I get time off to train um, if I need it. Also the army has helped me um, my my battalion, my, comp my corps has helped me financially um, for some of the competitions that I've done. So they're really supportive and they're really proud as well because it's, it's making the military look positive. You know, and just because we wear combats, and that doesn't mean that that's the only element of the military. You know, and, and to get somebody who's in the military to, to be winning some of these competitions is, is really good for them. Body power was overwhelming. The, the year before I'd actually gone to Body Power and it was the start of my journey. I'd, I'd won the Miami Pro competition. I was just kind of getting into this whole fitness thing and I heard about Body Power and I went and I saw um, saw like the grenade tank and I saw Larissa Reese and I thought wow look at this place. I would love to be here one day. And then a year later I'm actually at it. I'm meeting people and 
it was it was amazing for people to say, oh, I, you know, I speak to you on Twitter or I speak to you on Facebook, and then to actually meet people face to face and speak to them in person was just it was such a brilliant experience, and I, I kind of went home like, wow, that was body power. <laughs>